One of the advantages of running our own business is we can set our own hours to a degree. By working 6am till 9pm on Mondays, 9am till 8pm on Tuesdays and normal days Wednesdays and Friday, I don't feel too guilty about having Thursdays off to spend with Alex, Jamie and Izzy. Last week Alex had to swap her day off, so she was in work and Izzy was with her dad on the Thursday. So it was just lit me and little Hammy, or Hambo, Hammer, Hammer Time, Hamster, Ham Sandwich, Hams, Little Ham Lad, or all manner of other ham related nicknames he seems to have picked up over the last couple of years. In the afternoon we headed down to Ashbourne to see my nephew and niece's end of term assembly and take them to paint a triceratops for their dad's birthday. You heard. Having moved up from Kent they now live with my dad and go to my old primary school. So I entered the school hall for the first time in 23 years. It had shrunk somewhat. The assembly was cool if a little long. Good to see them both get a certificate. But I was somewhat saddened at the focus on chocolate. Yes chocolate. It was given out a surprise and at the end they all sang the chocolate song. Oh I've got lots of chocolate, give me lovely chocolate, it's the best thing to eat for sure, as they rubbed their tummies and salivated at the thought. Now I like chocolate as much as the next person and I know some people see me as a curmudgeon for this, but is teaching children from a young age that chocolate is better than other foods, giving them the best start to life. It's not even like it's real chocolate either. Chocolate coated sugar usually. We deal with people on a daily basis who are pretty much addicted, addicted to chocolate and cake. And from our experience, a big part of it is how it's presented when they were growing up. You know, finish your main course and you can have some chocolate stroke cake. Eat your greens and I'll get you some chocolate stroke cake. Be good and you can have some chocolate stroke cake. You can have some chocolate stroke cake as a special treat. Parents wide-eyed with joy and excitement as they talk about it or consume it themselves. All instilling on that blank canvas of a brain that chocolate and cake are the best. I let my kids have chocolate and cake, but it's never a treat, and not on a daily basis. How could something be a treat if you have it daily anyway? If they have it at a party or a friend's house, that's cool. And if they want it when they're old enough to make their own choices, that's fine. But I don't want to instill in them the same relationship with it that makes so many people unhappy as adults. And if reading or listening to this helps even one of you question your own relationship with chocolate and cake or the relationship you might be forming in your own children, then it will be worthwhile. Much love, John was never prouder than when Ollie said, If I'm a good boy, can I have some extra broccoli, Hall and Matt, not keen on broccoli, Nicholson.